Ja, marhaba, ja, shabab. Welcome to a brand new video. So, as you can see, I have opened Android Studio and I want to just walk you through the first part. I mean, because of the video, we are in the uh, third part. So this is part three. There's, there will be branches for all the videos. We start with part three because in part one and two, we just do some uh, render stuff for the um, infrastructure of the API. So I just start here with part underscore three. It will be linked in the description below. And just, I want you walk you through what I did here. So starting with the settings.gradle file, I just added uh, one more Maven uh, repository, the jitpack.io. Jitpack uh, so we have full access to all the dependencies. Then I'll let me just walk you through the next, um, the project build.gradle file. As you can see here, um, make sure the thing is here, the, the Kotlin version is not higher than this 1.8.22. You can use even a lesser number. For instance, if you would use 1.9, it doesn't work currently with uh, Dagger Hilt. So be aware of that. So make sure you have the same version or a um, lesser version than this. Uh, we'll use um, navigation component um, in this tutorial. And here we have the latest Dagger Hilt dependency. I just added some variables to use in our uh, build.gradle uh, app file. As you can see here, just um, added the plugins for again for navigation, for the navigation graph to parcelize Kotlin files. Um, yeah, and yeah, the Hilt plugin. Um, one more thing what I did is the compiler SDK, I increased it to the latest version. It should be um 34 um yeah then i did some compile options using java 17 jvm target java sdk 17 here are all the dependency listed as you can see i'm using here the, the variables these are all the dependencies we are going to use i mean except for espresso you could remove espresso because i don't want I don't have time to write now UI tests for this tutorial series. You will see it, it's, it will get pretty long. And here, one more um, stuff here for Dagger Hilt. Let's move on to the manifest. Okay, here in the manifest, I only changed the target API to be here. Um, they have the same target API like in our bit.gradle file um, 34. I always have to think about the numbers because in Arab it's different. You don't say 34, you say 4 and 30, like Arba wa Falafun. Uh, yeah, so here 34, 34. Um, yeah, what else I did? I just, um, I did some style changes. There was, for instance, no action bar, but I removed it here in the themes, because we need the action bar to display if the user is on a open task fragment or on a closed task fragment or all task fragment. As you can see, I just also did for the night mode um, theme here. Uh, just let me just run the app. You see again, splash screen, and then you have the action bar here. Currently it's showing this, but we will change all of that. All of that. And one more thing, uh, I already added all the string values we need in this tutorial series. Um, yeah, just that you know, you can also you have in the in from the first part. I mean, from the from this branch on, you will have all the necessary needed uh, string values. So uh, sorry, I had to just quickly pause the video. So here are also the drawables. I've also added all the drawables we need in this tutorial series. So yeah, so we are not bothered with adding them while doing development stuff. And yes, that's basically it. So that you know that I have set up all the dependencies in, in the build.gradle files. I adapted the theme. I adapted the Android manifest and yeah, but before we um, continue, let's just 
do one more thing. Uh, Uses permission. Uh, internet. Where is it? Internet and permission. So, yeah. Uh, one more thing. I just added the internet permission. And yeah, that's basically it that you see. Okay, we have here the target API. We use the, we have the permission to use internet. And I've already, I have already added all the drawables. I've already added all the string values. And I will also add now all the color values before I forget. And so that you know, everything will be set up here in part three. So the basic stuff and from now on, uh, the remaining tutorials we will be able to um, fully concentrate only on development stuff. So catch me in the next video. See you soon. Ilalikaya shabab.